Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Kicking It with Quran. Today we have a super special guest, uh, Dr. Bowman from uh, Washington University. Folding at Home has become the largest supercomputer on the planet. Folding at Home. Folding at Home is nothing new. To help fight the COVID-19. How are you? I am good. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time and, uh, you know, having a quick chat with us here. My pleasure. Great. So, you know, for the audience, uh, obviously, why don't you uh, give a little bit about an intro yourself? Uh, you know, what do you do? And... Uh, you know, obviously, sure. uh, you know, give a little bit of background on folding at home and sort of the important work that you guys are doing today. Sure, sounds good. So, so I'm an associate professor at uh, the Washington University School of Medicine, and I also happen to be the director of the Folding at Home Project, uh, which is this really cool way of trying to understand the molecular machines that are responsible for many of the processes we associate with life. So anything active, like muscles moving, detecting light, these are all uh, managed by, by proteins. And like the machines we're used to on macroscopic scales, they have lots of moving parts, uh, but they're completely invisible to us. So what we do with Folding at Home is get now millions of people around the world to help us run computer simulations of all the moving parts of these little machines to understand how they work and how we can control them with therapeutics or protein design, for example. Right, and that that helps with what things like uh, you know making vaccines and 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 other other things. That's right. So so we have the potential to understand the structures of the mach these machines and inform the development of new va vaccines. Uh, and we are very actively uh, helping to accelerate the drug design process. You know, we Got can it. provide a, a detailed picture of what these things look like and where small molecule drugs have the potential to bind and either uh, in inhibit or enhance the function of these machines. Right. And so for things like COVID-19, we're looking for ways to break the machines that the virus uses to infect our cells, evade our immune systems, and replicate itself. Fantastic. And, and all this work, right? Uh, I mean, there's a reason why you've got millions of people doing this, right? This is super computationally intensive, I think. That's right. You know, my, my history has been mostly in high performance computing in the past. And, you know, this, this sort of relates, you know, it, it's, it's kind of all, almost, uh, you know, the right time for HPC to shine from that perspective. And this is the perfect use case for that. That's right. No, these things are amazingly computationally expensive. So our our easy problems would easily take a hundred years on a nice desktop computer. And we have many problems that would take millions or hundreds of millions of years, or you start thinking about the age of the universe type things. Right. Uh, and so what we've done is come up with ways of splitting these essentially intractable calculations by a, a single you know, brute force approach uh, up into small pieces that many people can help us perform in parallel. And on our side, we have algorithms for taking all of this data and turning it into essentially maps of what a protein can do. So, so in essence, what we're doing is having our volunteers go out exploring and send us back the GPS coordinates of the little local regions they explore. And we piece this all together into a, a more global map of what's out there. Right. Just curious, by the way, how how did it, how did this idea come about in general? Folding at home, how long has it been around? And you know, uh, obviously, when did you uh, sort of kind of think of this? So, so the project uh, will celebrate its twentieth uh, birthday this coming fall. Wow! So it's been quite around for quite a while, and and I have to acknowledge my graduate advisor Vijay Pandey is the one who started it, uh, and the idea was to understand uh, initially how proteins fold. Because one of the amazing things about many of these molecular machines is that they don't need someone to build them. They build themselves. And, and that's just astounding that they're able to do this. And uh, my, my analogy I like to give is it's like dumping a bunch of car parts on your front yard and they spring together into a functioning car. And you're like, whoa, what happened there? Uh, and so the ori original impetus was to understand the self-assembly process. But, but really what we're asking at heart is, how do atoms push and pull on each other and move over time? Uh, and so over the years, the project has generalized to address a really broad range of biological and biomedical problems. 
Interesting. And, um, you know, obviously Oracle's been uh, helping out as well with, uh, with some infrastructure here. Uh, That's right. What's the, what's the uh, I guess, uh, you know, um, you know, we've obviously provided CPU based infrastructure and GPU based infrastructure. So from an infrastructure point of view, is there one over the other that you prefer or is there part of the infrastructure that that requires kind of commodity hardware versus accelerated hardware? How do you how do you guys think of that? Yeah, so I mean, one of the, the beauties of this is that, uh, you know, anyone with a computer can help and the more powerful your hardware, the better. We have some algorithms that are specialized to running on GPUs and some that only run on CPUs. Uh, so, so everything is, uh, is a great help. Fantastic. And obviously you've got, you know, the world's kind of brightest minds uh, and, and all of the different companies sort of helping you out with that infrastructure. So it's amazing to sort of see everybody come together for, for a single cause. Unfortunate that it happens to be a, a, a pandemic. That's right. That's right. That's right. Great. No. And, um, you know, sort of, you know, where do you sort of see the future in terms of, uh, you know, I guess the future of folding at home, but also kind of where do you see some of this research going in, in, in the future? Yeah, I'm super excited about that. I mean, we have a really general platform right now for biological and biomedical uh, research, but potentially even beyond that. Uh, and so there's just a huge opportunity to transform biology and biotech in you know, much the same way that computers have transformed many other industries by uh, enabling uh, analysis of huge data sets and the construction of quantitatively predictive models. So we're doing a lot in the, the areas of precision medicine and, and drug design to help understand what, what makes each of us a little bit different and, and how, how should we go about treating various diseases. Awesome. Well, you know, this is super interesting. I'm sure we could talk about this all day. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm certainly very interested and, uh, uh, you know, uh, we're super happy to be involved, obviously. And uh, uh, before, before we sort of sign off, uh, you know, how can people get involved? Like if, you know, I'm sitting here with an old computer, you know, how can I help? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of avenues to help. I mean, the, the most straightforward is to go to foldingathome.org and you can download our software and start uh, contributing your computer power to the, the Folding at Home network. Uh, but there's also lots of opportunities for developers to help with the code and uh, a huge community for uh, discussing the, the science and the technical aspects of, of what's going on. Uh, so there's a lot of avenues to get involved. Right. And as you said, it's millions of people, right? That's right. That's right. No. So our, our estimate is that we're now the, the largest computer on the, the face of the, the planet and we're <laughs> bringing it all to bear on COVID-19. Uh, no, no hardware vendor can beat that. That's right. That's right. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool opportunity to have an impact. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Greg. Uh, we yeah. you know, super appreciate your time. And wow. uh, thanks, everybody out there. We'll join you for another episode of Kicking It With Karan. Yeah, thank you so much for yours and Oracle's help. Absolutely. <laughs>